Hey everybody, I hope you're doing a fantastic day and I'm going to make an occasional set of videos about cool tools that can save the day for you. And uh, this is a true story. A couple days ago I had uh, was minding my own business in my office and my beautiful wife caught that there was a break in her shower. And um, for those of you who don't know how they work in America and Europe and the rest of the world, you guys your showers, I don't want to talk about that. Um, but in America, most of the time there is a pipe going down the wall to the faucet on the inside of the wall and then there's an adapter here and the shower head comes out this way and you know we can actually completely close our showers here as opposed to my European friends. Um, the problem is, and this is where you guys would probably say you're right, is that this pipe comes generally through the wall and sticks out right here and in general this fitting is located in the wall and on a stud and so what happened was my lovely wife noticed that there was some water trickling out on the underside and I had kind of warned her because I didn't like the setup um, of her shower and what had happened was that pipe had actually broken inside of this fitting right here now that's bad news because the entire front of her shower was tile and even if I wanted to cut the back of the wall I would be looking at this there would be a water pipe coming down here um, I could I've done it I can get this off I could drill holes perfectly and and you know use nuts and stuff like that but that is not a fun fix to do from the back and it's not a fun fix to do from the front which enter the life-saving tool of the day and um, so what happened was that pipe had sheared off basically flush with this fitting and it was metal on metal now because it was metal on metal uh, and I had no idea if the person who was there before me had used Teflon tape it didn't look so I sprayed some uh, PB blaster on there and then waited about 10 minutes and sprayed some PB blaster again and sprayed it a third time and the reason for that is because these little wings here are crucial because this is a water pipe um, you don't want to over torque something like this and break these little ears off of this fitting and sometimes it's just it's just kind of strapped on here with a pipe strap um, but essentially what I was able to do is use one of these tools and it's an internal pipe wrench and the way such a tool works is if you look at it from the top here uh, focus uh, let's see let's get you a good background if you look at it from the top here there is this off-center cam and as the pipe rotates this thing goes from being basically a perfect fit to rotating out to where it can grab with these little teeth the inside of the pipe and so essentially what you want to do is I'm going to just screw this in here hand tight for demonstration purposes so basically if you're gonna have a good day and not rip all that stuff apart your hope lies in something like this and what you do is you want to try to get a bite on it now normally you're in a smaller fitting like normally it's broken off in here and I guess I guess I could actually do that all right so what I'm actually gonna do to be authentic is I am going to take my new Ryobi Dremel looking thingy and turn it on and I'm gonna cut this okay so I have cut that fitting and made my entire office stink and I'm covered with stuff because I want to bless you guys with this knowledge so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the closest one possible now this one is a little bit of a tight fit because I melted that PVC but that's fine so I'm gonna get it in there now what's important is I don't want to go past where I think the threads are but then I'm gonna try by hand first I'm gonna rotate this and I can feel it start to bite and sometimes you even want this thing to be at a little bit of an angle and then we're gonna grab the crescent wrench and if everything is going well then you're able to back that fitting out from the inside and that ladies and gentlemen needs to come to your mind when this happens because this tool 
can save you hundreds of dollars because you know it exists. But nobody knows it exists, like unless you're in the plumbing world. So when something breaks off in the wall or in a place you can't get to it, remember the idiot on YouTube who showed you the internal pipe wrench. And for the love of all that is holy, do not hang your shampoo on the shower head. Thanks for watching.